Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natasha Camille and today's hair tutorial is on these big voluminous curls, mostly known as bombshell curls. I'm going to be showing two ways to do these curls, one using my flat iron and one with flexi rods in case you wanted a heatless option. Since my hair is naturally curly, of course I'm going to have to do that extra step and straighten it first, which kind of makes this a fun video because you get to see my hair at literally every single stage. Natural, blow dried, straightened, and then finally curled. This is my hair naturally curly. Although I can straighten it from curly hair, it will go a lot smoother and my hair will last a lot longer if I blow dry it first. I'm using my straightening comb sent to me by Timo. I love this comb instead of my straightening iron because first of all, it's easier to use. It gives me the same results as a flat iron, especially if you do it on blow dried hair and it uses less direct heat. So it's better for my natural hair and I'm really big on hair health. I do this the day before I plan to actually go in with my flat iron just because since I already blow dried and straightened it, I don't want to add too much heat to my hair all in one day by adding curls on top of that. And I like to use just organic argon oil. It's very lightweight, but it still gives your hair all of the great benefits of oil like moisture and of course protecting it from heat. So I just put the smallest amount of this on. I just take like half a pump basically <laughs> and rub it in and then rub it through my hair. I don't put any of this up at my roots because that's just gonna weigh my hair down. So I kind of rub it through the mids and ends. And now I'm just tying my hair up and sectioning it off so that I can move my way from the bottom up. I take very small sections like this one and go over my roots a couple times. And then as I move down my hair, I turn the flat iron away from my face and slowly push it all the way to the end of my hair. I actually kind of messed up this one. <laughs> It's the first curl, bear with me, but I decided not to edit it out just because I want to show you guys how you can fix this if you have the same problem. And that's simply just to go over that curl again and make sure to focus on the end or any frizzy section to give it a nice clean finish. I continue to do the same process all the way to the back of my head, turning each curl away from my face and using my fingers to gently twist them at the ends as they cool down. I do the same thing on the other side, but the only thing I'm doing differently here is turning the flat iron the opposite way, just so that those curls also twist away from my face. Then I just keep moving up one section at a time until I get to the top of my head, which I part with a fine tooth comb to make everything a little bit neater. All right, we are at the last section, the final stretch. By the way, I'm gonna show my heat curls with the side part, and then later on, I'm gonna do my flexi rods with the middle part, just so you can see the difference. And I like to do one of these things, kind of give me a swoop in there. Okay, so these are the final results using the flat iron. This whole process takes me like 10 minutes in the morning or before an event I need to get ready for. A lot of people ask if I use hairspray. I personally don't because my hair is not naturally straight. And if you use hairspray, of course it's a product and product buildup and like greasiness is the most noticeable on straight hair. And it starts building up too much, you have to wash it. And then if I wash my hair, like, we're done with curls or straight of any kind. <laughs> so basically my take on hairspray for people with curly hair, it's great if you want your hair, you know, to stay crisp and fresh and stiff in this style all day, like hairspray is supposed to do, but it's not the best if you want your hair to actually last throughout the week and stay straight, stay clean and not greasy and weighed down. So 
but I have noticed that using this leave-in conditioner before I straighten and my argon oil as a heat protectant throughout the process, these two work really well together to prep my hair and kind of make it last longer without needing those extra products. And neither of them weigh my hair down, so that's great. This is my hair the following day. It still has a little bit of curl in it or wave really, but they've definitely fallen. So I wanted to show you guys my night routine to get those curls without using heat. And that is with flexi rods. I'm only using six today because that always gives me the size and shape the curls that I'm looking for when I do it on straight hair. The first thing I do is brush out my hair really well. And then I take one of the rollers and place it not all the way at the end, but right before it and start twisting the end around the flexi rod surprisingly these are actually a lot harder to put into straight hair than curly hair which I actually did my last tutorial on so this does take a couple rounds of practice before you get it down but the good news is you only have to do six of them So I'm gonna try and do my best to show you how I put them in the back. I basically just roll it under and try to use the same size sections as the rest of my hair. And then the next morning, I just gently take out those flexi rods and style it. And then these curls, I actually do like to comb out. I just think it all flows together so nicely, so. This is definitely my everyday curl. This is like how I would wear it to class or something or just anything casual. I don't like to apply too much heat to my hair, so most of the time if I do wanna have curls, I'll just sleep in rollers the night before and then comb it all together in the morning, add a little bit of oil, and that's it. But I love it, it's super lightweight, it's touchable, you know, I don't have to be like, oh, I can't touch my hair, it's gotta be perfect all day. Cute, not too much very me well that's a wrap for this tutorial let me know in the comments if you like the flat iron curls with the side part or if you prefer the heatless method which is parted down the middle all products used in this video are down in the description including my discount code and as always thank you so 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 much for watching and i'll see you in the next video